go. Here we go. It's another day, another way. Good morning. Got the Dr. Bob Lee, your host, and you're watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. So you can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Leading things off, our first guest is a singer, composer, and lyricist who does his thing. Dr. Eric B. Turner. We call him Dr. B or Eric Turner. Let's call him Eric Turner because he's on another mission right now. We'll explain. He joins us today to promote his latest hit single, Ain't No Good. So please welcome to the show, Eric B. Yes, yes, show. You look a little like Teddy Pettigrass right now. Hey, then I'm then the job is being done then. If, if that's all. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now I'm doing I, a great I, job. I was I met you through um, well. CeeLo's restaurant, Elliot from CeeLo's, from CeeLo's restaurant in the, in the Bronx. We actually met in 2005 at the summer stage. He gave me a call. He said, yo, he said, you got to hear my brother. Uh, he said, you got to check him out. And that's when we started, you know, to interact. You sent me some, uh, some information and some, some music. And I said, yo, you got it going on. So what inspired you to become a singer, Eric? Actually, I've been singing my entire life. Uh, have been, have been uh, involved in the church, was born and raised in the church and singing, and knew from a young age that I wanted to be an entertainer. And so I have uh, started out on this mission, moving here to New York in 2005. Yeah. Uh, July 21st, the day we actually met, July 21st, that Thursday on Summer Stage, uh, 125th Street. Yeah. And it's been smooth, not smooth selling, but it's been a great ride since that time. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, you do a lot of things in the community, too, because we're out feeding people in Harlem and you came out and uh, you saw some of the work that we do. And Absolutely. I know that that's one of the things that you're into. Community service is extremely important. Uh, just the act of giving back. I believe in the boomerang effect. What you throw out will come back yeah. to you. So be it as an individual, be it with my fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, I'm uh -oh. going to, yeah, <laughs> to make sure that the community is being impacted by our presence. Yeah. Now you've performed, you've been doing it since, you know, a, a, a youngster, and you've performed with so many great artists over the years. Who has had the greatest impact in your life? Ooh. That would be... And there's been a few of them, so, you know, it's going to be tough. Quite a, it's really been quite a few. But I will say the last individual I sang background for probably had the greatest impact of where I am now, who is Mariah Carey. Oh! Who, to me, she said to me, basically, it's a now or never moment for you. And to Ooh. launch, and she really set me up on that pathway to launch to be who I am, have what I have now. So I'm, I'm internally grateful to her. Me and Mariah. <laughs> Not that far back, but yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So you have the new single out because you have a few of them. I heard a few of them. But yes. uh, talk about your latest single. So How did that Ain't, come about? Ain't No Good is uh, really, it derives a lot of people are questioning where, where would this song come from? Uh, being with my background in mental health, um, I'm always dealing with individuals who are making choices or decisions and they go into it knowing that it's not good for them. And yeah. so hence the opening line, you know, stop being so thirsty <laughs> for the things that you know that aren't good for you. But what I did was I needed to cleverly wrap this warning or, or message of caution into a down home uh, deep into the South, back in the juke joint uh, flavor. So it's like a, a blues genre flavor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ah, and so, right. uh, you know, people can get the message while they groove at the same time, not really knowing that it's, it's entering into their subconscious unknowingly. So we, we love that. Now, you said mental health background? Yes. Yeah. So you're so a PhD, have, you're a doctor. PhD in counseling psychology. The singing um, PhD. All right. <laughs> My area of focus is marriage and family counseling specifically, uh -huh. uh, which has been uh, definitely needed in the midst of this pandemic. And yeah. so grateful to, to have that in my pedigree. So I don't know, Doc, I think you're just as busy in 
your current job, your singing genre of, of music and uh, your PhD world? I, my clientele literally has quadrupled uh, in the midst of this uh, pandemic. And I was a former professor at NYU of psychology. And, you know, a lot of our community is now really sensing and adhering to the need to talk to someone to get the help that they actually do need and deserve. And so I'm grateful. I never advertise, I never advertise. Yeah. People just literally share through word of mouth. And it's kind of the same way with the music. And so I'm grateful for that as well. Yeah, I think that's a wonderful thing. I mean, I know we're here to talk about your music, but what you're doing on the other side is, is, is great also. And I, I'm sure it has a great impact in our community. And at this time, especially this time of need, people are reaching out to people like you to, to try to, you know, get help. Because, you know, a lot of people are going to be traumatized and are traumatized based on what took place during this pandemic. Yes. A lot of us are just dealing with grief in itself. And grief yeah. is beyond death. Grief is just the loss of anything that is near and dear to you. So a lot of us are dealing with grief and, and services are available. Again, just to put a same shameless plug in for counseling in itself, it is yeah. available. Please adhere to it. You know, you're going to have to come back and put on a different hat because we need to talk yeah. about that because that's what's needed too. But we Absolutely. also need song and dance. And I understand you can dance. You got the James Brown steps and you we got the vocals to match it all up, to make it all happen. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm grateful to uh, literally be recognized around the world. I have a great fan base over in Europe mm -hmm. and more people will know me by my footwork than by my vocals. And so uh, shucks. I'm glad that they know me. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to wait until we open up our studios and you can come in and do the footwork and everything. We we'll will put a be, microphone on the floor and all I'll be, you know, make it. <laughs> I'll be right there. You tell me when. You tell yeah. me when. So can you give us like a little pinch, a little taste of uh, your vocals? Oh, my goodness. I know we're not set up for it, but you know. But you know what? Hey, a singer sings. That's what we do. Uh, yeah. my, my latest uh, release, which was in June 2020, is entitled Holding On, which I know you have heard. Uh, yeah. And just that song of call to action for change of inequality and injustice. Just want to give a little bit of that. Uh, what happened to the days when we had less, but we love more? If one had, we all had. If one need, they just asked. We can leave those good times again. What you see now is not our end. No, 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 no. Baby, I need you to know it's not the end of the road. You to know. Change is gonna come. That's I'll what's up. I get emotional. <laughs> That's all right. We, no, no, we got we to gotta get you in the, in the Bronx Net Studios and we'll, we'll turn it up. up. <laughs> Absolutely. We'd love to come and share with you. Eric, where can we go to get more music, more to get more of a taste of what you do? Absolutely. You can find me on all digital music platforms under Eric B. Turner. Again, Eric B. Turner. Also on social media platforms, Eric B. Turner, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. <laughs> We're all over the place. Definitely yeah. hit me up on YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash Eric B. Turner. That's Eric with a C. Singer. Oh, they're calling for you right now. Look at that. Didn't I, get the phone I love it. Either. <laughs> Eric B. Turner, singer, Thanks. composer, lyricist, songwriter. He does it all. Thank you, Eric B. Thank you, sir. And come back again because we got to get you in there to see your footwork like we mentioned come before. When I will be right there. You got it. Hey, thank you. We love you. Stay safe. Love you, brother. Peace and wellness to you. You got it. All right. We'll take a break. We've got more, more open right here. Stay right there, kick off your shoes and relax your feet and dance like this. <laughs> 